Good morning. This morning, uh, I'll be sharing from the parable of uh, the Good Samaritan. Like uh, last week, I shared from the parable of uh, the rich man and the poor Lazarus. Uh, and from that, we have learned certain important truths for us to practice. And um, this morning, again, we'll be learning a similar truths for us to practice. Now, the story goes like this. The story goes, uh, the parable starts in uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 25 onwards. Let me read the scripture for us. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said to him, You have answered rightly, do this and you will live. So basically this person who he, this person is uh, uh, testing Jesus about uh, whether Jesus knows the scripture very well or not. And then uh, Jesus uh, asked him another question and to which the person is saying, We shall love the Lord with all our heart with all of us uh, soul and with all our mind and also our neighbor ourselves in in simple words we can put it like this loving god and loving people loving god and loving people in matthew he talks about uh, this commandment like this loving god and loving people is an important commandment the greatest commandment why because on these two commandments hangs the entire law and the prophets it is like two uh, uh, brackets holding a rod on on this entire command on this entire the law and prophets hangs on that so what is the law and prophet law and prophet we can see it in uh, in uh, matthew 7 verse 12 uh, whatever you want men to do to you do uh, also to them so this is the uh, the summary of the old testament which is hanging on these two commandments which is the two commandments to love God and to love people. So this we can see very clearly in Matthew chapter 22 verse 36 onwards. And uh, we also can see a similar story a loving God and loving people in uh, in uh, Mark also. We can see it in Mark chapter 12. And, uh, and in Luke chapter 10 we can see again loving God and loving people. We can see uh, the story is uh, uh, being narrated over here. Now the lawyer wanted to ask, uh, you know, justify himself uh, to uh, to because he is testing Jesus. He is asking, "Who is my neighbor?" We all we always ask, you know, who is our neighbor? Also in in different uh, ways, who, where shall I go? Who shall I serve? You know, uh, we, we sometimes we ask these questions, and uh, because we don't get clear answers, we end up doing nothing in life. Now Jesus is explaining this. Uh, who is your neighbor to lawyer through a, a story. And this is where we get the story of the Good Samaritan. Now in this story we have four characters. The certain man who fell among the thieves. And we have a, a Levi. We have a priest. And we have the Samaritan over here. Now the story goes like this. There was a certain man who traveled from Jerusalem to Jericho. And he fell among the thieves. So the thieves robbed him, stole his clothes and uh, beat him and made him half uh, dead and le left him alone uh, on the road to die. Now by chance, uh, a priest was walking by when he saw this man was uh, growling in pain and asking for help. He immediately took the other route and bypassed him. He ignored the man who was, who was in pain and asking for help. And same thing was done by another person the Levi also he saw the person he ignored the person walked by on the other side now both the priest and Levi interestingly were chosen by God to serve him in the temple imagine they are very close to God because of the service in the temple but yet very far away from their heart uh, with respect to knowing God they were so close to the presence of God but because they were hardened in their heart, they were not understanding that they, the, the scripture, uh, uh, what the scripture is telling them to do is to love God 
and to love people in fact uh, the entire children of israel once upon a time they were oppressed they were like slaves god had to redeem them from the egypt and then set them free and then brought them into the promised land but they soon forgot how god blessed them uh, and uh, you know made them free by setting them free from the uh, from the slavery and uh, <clears throat> we can see the hardness of uh, the 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 levi and the priest over here and even though they had the power to help they they ignored and went away the fourth person over here was the samaritan who was passing by when he saw the person who was in need of help was crying for help who who wanted to be alive and uh, jesus uh, jesus uh, the, sorry the samaritan had compassion on this person he got on from his donkey he cleaned this person bandaged him poured oil on him put him on his own donkey brought him to a better place for a better treatment and told the innkeeper you know take care of this person uh, if anything you spend the extra i will come and repay you everything that you spend on this person so we can see how this uh, samaritan uh, unknown person he is helping an unknown uh, person a unknown man he is helping a unknown uh, person because both were not related both were complete strangers but still uh, samaritan was willing to do uh you know a service willing to sacrifice and uh, serve this man and express his concern and uh, and kindness and love for this man and that is exactly uh, jesus was asking this uh, uh, telling this lawyer now tell me among these three people who is the neighbor to the one who fell among the thieves and lawyer by now understood what jesus was saying and lawyer answered the one who showed mercy to him the one who showed mercy on him is the one is the true neighbor to the one who fell on the uh, uh on the on, on the thieves so now uh now through this story jesus t- tells uh, told the the lawyer go do likewise go do likewise so now uh if uh jesus is t- telling a story he would d- do the same thing tell us go do likewise no like just like a samaritan person who helped a stranger you also go and help anyone who is in need and that person would be your neighbor a neighbor could be any person who is genuinely in need and if we have the resource to meet that need we should help the person when we do that definitely we are doing two things one is we are we are loving god because we are obeying him we are also loving people because through our love other person is getting blessed and eventually the person will live and experience the power and goodness of god through our lives so two things we are doing when we when we care for our uh, neighbor we are not only loving god but also we are loving our neighbor so our neighbor can be anyone anyone who is genuinely in need and if we have the power to meet the needs if we have the resources to meet the needs uh, let us be generous like this samaritan person who would uh, who who helped this person and uh, made his life uh, you know uh uh made his life uh, memorable or uh, made his life easy so now <clears throat> in this story we have four characters like uh, the samaritan uh, we have the certain man and we have two other characters the levi and the priest whom we sh- definitely should not imitate now in this two character of uh, the samaritan and the certain man we can see in both the characters we can see the glimpses of jesus in their life so definitely samaritan is very easy why because we can see the generosity we can see the sacrificial life we can see the kindness goodness or you know of uh, jesus through this man and uh, jesus being the example for us uh, we should immediately we should uh, definitely uh, imitate him and follow him amen that's one thing and we also can see the glimpse of uh, jesus in the samarit in the certain man let us see the narration how it uh, unfolds uh this person is traveling from jerusalem to jericho jerusalem is 2500 feet above sea level and jericho is 850 feet below sea level that means the person is traveling from top to down similarly jesus also is traveling from top to down from heaven to earth and a certain man also fell among the thieves jesus also fell among the thieves and the sinners and 
and we can see how Jesus is willing to choose or associate himself with the least, with the lost and the last. Now, if you read a story from uh, from uh, Matthew chapter 25, and there is a story of shepherd separating from uh, shepherd, shepherd separating the sheep and the goats, and he's speaking to the sheep. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was uh, in prison, you came and visited me. The sheep they got confused and they they asked the Lord, "When did we see you hungry to feed you? When did you see you naked to?" clothe you when you were in prison to come and visit you we didn't see you at all then jesus replied whatever things that you have done to the least of my brethren you have done it to me whatever things that you have done it to my least of my brethren you have done it to me so jesus over here associates associates himself with the least with the lost and the lost last now uh, when even when Jesus choosing the when God choosing Israel, it was not a mighty nation. It was a small nation. It was the least nation, and that is why God chose it, uh, chose them, and blessed them to be a blessing to many other people. Now we can also see the pattern throughout in the Bible how Jesus went for the lost sheep, went for the lost coin, and for the lost son. We can see how. Uh, uh, how Jesus also in the scripture he tells us I have come to seek that which was lost okay and also we can see in the scripture the last shall be first the last shall be first the one who humbles will be exalted the one who humbles will be given much grace in their life so we can see how Jesus is associating himself with these uh, people who can be despised by uh, by the by, by by the proud or by the religious group of people now we the one who knows god we the one who loves god definitely you know god would want us to uh, love him and and love people by embracing these people in our life i know it can be very difficult but i believe there is enough grace over us uh, uh, the the lord will empower us with his with his holy spirit and also with wisdom so that when we embrace them not only love will flow i believe the power of god also will flow to heal them to bring uh, uh, hope in their life and i also believe they can be uh, restored back to the image of god as they hear the gospel in their lives amen so now so some of them some of them uh, may not be uh, uh, may not have jesus as the master over their life but they are lost in the world, but they're still having the image of God in them. So when we serve them, when we go to them, when we when we proclaim the good news to them, what we are doing, we are doing unto the Lord Himself. We are doing unto the Lord Himself. Bible also says in the, uh, Proverbs, "He who lends to the poor lends to the Lord Himself." Amen. He who lends to the poor lends to the Lord Himself. We can see how God is associating Himself with the least with the lost and the last. So now, uh, as a church, how we can do, what we can do is very important from this parable, especially since we are living in a very difficult scenario, uh, in a pandemic situation where so many people are suffering, so many people are in need. As a person, as a church, how, what we can do to make a difference in their life. If individually we have certain resources that we can help our neighbor, anyone who is in need, please go ahead. If not, let us come together as a church, whatever we can do, come together and help one another so that we are doing the will of God in our life. Amen. So that we are doing the will of God in our life by loving Him and loving uh, uh, one another, loving our neighbor as ourselves. Amen. So this parable once again talks about uh, <clears throat> like about uh, uh, loving God and loving people now how, how we can love people in this scenario like this uh, by serving one another so let us pray and uh, ask the Lord how we can be a blessing to one another and uh, individually and um, collectively collective as a church let us uh, shine and let us be a blessing to, to the community where God has put us in Amen so God bless you all and uh, may, may the Lord richly reward us in everything that we do 
for His glory. Amen.